We are Liz and Matt, and we're going to show you the front end generators of RubyJam. And this gem basically it provides some rig tasks in your application to add Bootstrap, Font Awesome, and the Start Bootstrap landing pages to a Rails application. So, Woohoo! <laughs> so if you look at this is one example of a Start Bootstrap landing page. It's super clean, super nice. Has a lot of JavaScript and pretty stuff going on, and it's awesome to just basically have a one one line command to add it to your app. By the way, I'm just the Latina girl making comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Liz has no idea what's going on. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new uh, Rails repository. So we're going to start with just a, a brand new Rails repository, and we will call it Latina for Liz. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to change into the Latina repository. And what we need to do now is open up the code and add the front end generators gem. Front end generator is so fun. <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Latina application! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is kind of the Latina application. All right, so we added front-end generators, and then we run bundle to install it. And installing. <laughs> yeah. It takes time, patience. Um, so after you install the gem, you uh, can add this little code snippet to your rig file. And that's going to basically give you all these uh, rake tasks so you can add all these files to your application. So we go to the rake file and we add these uh, tasks. So now when we run bundle exec uh, rake t, we can see that we're going to have all of these rake tasks in our application. So easy and clear and easy peasy, right? <laughs> easy peasy. All right. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is add uh, Bootstrap. And, and it's pretty easy to follow along with this readme. You just need to kind of go from top to bottom. So we're going to add Bootstrap. And unlike the gem. Copy paste. Uh, <laughs> copy paste. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> unlike the gem, it's, uh, this actually puts the Bootstrap files in your application. So you can see when you run the command, it basically just adds all the Bootstrap fonts and also the JavaScript and style sheet for Bootstrap. So I prefer to have that stuff in my Yeah, me too. I prefer that. <laughs> Much better, right, man? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, all right. So once we get Bootstrap in there, let's just run this rake test to get Font Awesome in there. And... Yeah, that was kind of easy too. That just throws the fonts in public and the style sheet in the CSS directory. And uh, Liz and I rehearsed this, by the way, before this, and she was significantly less shy last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in live now, so I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> I would be YouTube! Yay! <laughs> Um, so now we're going to add the assets for the creative theme, which is the one I showed you uh, earlier. So we run this rate task and it's going to add a bunch of files. This, this gem really saves you a lot of work. Uh, so hopefully you find it useful. So basically what it does, is it adds a bunch of images, some JavaScript files, style sheets, and it also breaks out the view into a bunch of different partials. So it's easier to customize. Um, so then we add the route. Copy paste. Copy paste. This whole thing's a copy paste exercise. Yeah. <laughs> kind of just showing the readers how to copy and paste the readme. <laughs> and for some reason, we need to do this silly Rails application precompile thing. So that goes in the assets.rb file. City Rails. <laughs> Rails. <laughs> All right. So assets rv. Let's throw this in there. And now we should be able to uh, start up our Rails server and go to that uh, 
that route and we should be able to just see that that theme so let's hope this works all right localhost creatives index and it works you see <laughs> awesome it worked <laughs> i'm bummed i was kind of nervous actually <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool like this if you look at this header thing it, it changes colors as you scroll down I like that and then these little things wiggle and pop up and there's a button that's gonna wiggle down here <laughs> so cute yeah it's kind of a cool it's a cool theme I like it all right so I'll show you guys how to to install the uh, freelancer theme uh, too it's kind of the same same process so we uh, run the rig task to add the uh, freelancer assets. Um, uh, it's going to add a bunch of files. Uh, I really like this theme, by the way. It's really cute. Um, then we add the route. Um, so go back to routes, add the route. And the final thing we do is the silly Rails 4 asset thing. Um, silly Rails. Yeah. I think it might save you some time when it comes time to deploy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it would save you a lot of time. Use <laughs> it. Use it. Um, all right. So let's start the... Thank you, darling. Uh, let's start the server again. <laughs> and let's see if this works. I'm nervous that this is going to not work, too. It is uh, going to work. You will see. Last time I made a video, I had a huge fail. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked, you see? I give you a good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's fine. This, this one's really great. Uh, it kind of looks like my dad, so <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't look like your dad, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. If your portfolio consists of log cabins and circuses and submarines, this is going to be really suit your skill set very well. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoy this front end generators. And uh, if you ever have anything to add, just uh, submit a pull request and I'll merge in. Yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope you use it. And it's very, I don't know, fun for you. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.